A calm cat to add to your home. Making purrs and prawns brought your cat of the week into our studio yesterday, and she's a sweetheart. Who's this? This is Gibby, and she's a tortoise shell. She's about seven, eight months old, I think. You said tortoise shell? Mm hmm That's an actual name of a... Uh, like the kind of coloring that she has, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I have never heard that before. <laughs> That, uh, learn something new, and we do this every week. So tell us some more about her. She's she's a sleek cat. She's a lap kitty. She's she's very calm actually. She likes to just sit in your lap. She'll put her paws on your shoulders and nuzzle you. And she's a sleek cat. Uh, now definitely though, I would assume she has to get adjusted to the place before she starts mm -hmm. to settle. Because I know right now it's she, she must see some kind of bug somewhere. Because <laughs> you know you know them with their eyesight. A Gibby, a real young cat, real mm -hmm. young cat. Um, seven to eight months, you were saying. She, uh, what I noticed is when I was petting her, sometimes these cats, the fur starts getting on my suit and hands, but uh, this cat doesn't seem to have a shedding issue at all. Do you now? Do you now? Tell us about that. I mean, have you noticed any kind of... I mean, it seems like the longer-haired ones shed more. I'm not, it yeah. just depends on the cat, I guess. It, she's short-haired. She's doesn't yeah. seem to be shedding too much. So bad. less of a risk than like a ragdoll cat uh -huh. or, or something like that. Uh, Gibby likes to sit, but as far as being held, where would you say she ranks on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 loving it and 1 hating it. I think she was like a 6, 7. She likes to sit in your lap and stuff, but eh, she'll, she'll, she's okay with being held for, you know, a few minutes and then she'll get down. But yeah, that's understandable. Some cats, they're so friendly, but the holding part is just a no-go, mm -hmm. just a, a non-issue there. Mm -hmm. See, somebody wanted to adopt Gibby, and who's being very calm right mm -hmm. now. I'm very impressed with you. Say somebody wants to adopt her today. Mm -hmm. What would they need to do? Um, they would need to come by the shelter, and we're there every day from 9 to 12, and they would just, we have um, some adoption paperwork, and it's pretty simple. They just, um... They just want to make sure that you're a good home for the cat. There's a few interview questions, and that's usually how it works. Um, yeah, pretty easy to do. Some people have, have this uh, idea that it's actually kind of difficult, but uh -huh. it's, it's actually pretty easy, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All righty. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Oh, don't want to get my mic all muffled. Thank <laughs> you so much for introducing us to Gibby. She's been real calm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If you'd like to adopt Gibby or one of the kittens from Making Purrs and Paws, you can call them at 508-7293. And you can also contact them on their Facebook page to set up an appointment at facebook.com slash makingpurrs. They're open every day from 9 to 12.